Hello, I'm Scott Bayless with John Deere. Today I'm in a 9620R scraper special tractor. I'm going to show you how running multiple scrapers can be made much easier by setting up Intelligent Total Equipment Control, or ITEC. Let's take a look. ITEC, or Intelligent Equipment Control, allows the tractor to control multiple functions with one press of a button. This is very handy in scraper work where repetition functions like raising the scraper, closing the gate, and engaging auto load or lowering the back scraper is the same every time. ITEC utilizes these four buttons to activate a set of sequences pre-programmed. We're going to step you through how to program ITEC. So from the home page of the command center, we press ITEC brings up the iTech menu. We want to turn iTech on. The first thing we will do is name this set of sequences. We have triple carry all scrapers today. So we will name it triple carry all with auto load. manage sequences. So we're going to add a sequence. The first sequence we want to add is for iTech number one. We will set iTech number one to close the front scraper gate, raise it out of the cut, and engage auto load in the next middle scraper when the front scraper is loaded. So we're going to add step. The first thing we're going to do is close the scraper gate on the front scraper, which is SCV2. We're going to push forward on SCV2, which is retract. Now ITEC is a distance-based system, so each sequence is executed at a certain feet distance. We want the gate to close exactly when we hit ITEC 1 button. So this will be zero feet. The next step will be to raise the scraper out of the cut, which will be SCV number one. And we will extend SCV one, and we want to let the gate have time to close before we raise the scraper out of the cut. We'll execute raising the scraper after the tractor travels three feet. The next step would be to lower the next subsequent scraper into the ground with SCV3. Because we will push forward on the control lever to lower the scraper into the cut, we will retract SCV3. We want that to happen the exact same time as the front scraper raises, so we'll leave it at 3 feet. That is all of the steps needed to complete iTech 1. We will click next. We will name the sequence. We're going to call this front scraper loaded. Now we're going to assign it to SCV number 1 and save. We're going to add a new sequence for SCV ITEC number two. ITEC number two will be the middle scraper when it's loaded. We will hit the button, it'll close the gate, raise the second scraper out of the ground, and engage auto load in the third scraper. So we'll add a step. The first thing we'll do is close the gate on the second scraper, which is SCV four. We would push forward on the SCV paddle, which would be retract, at zero feet. The next step would be to raise the middle scraper out of the cut, which would be SCV3, extend, three feet again. The last step 
would be to lower the third scraper into the ground with SCV-5, which would be retract. We want it to lower at the same time, so it'd be three feet. Next, this will be middle scraper loaded. The assignment, SCV number two. Save. The next sequence would be S ITEC number three. ITEC number three will close the gate, raise the rear scraper out of the ground. So we'll add a step. Closing the gate on the last scraper would be SCV six. Retract at zero feet. The next step would be to raise the rear scraper out of the ground, which would be extend number five at three feet. That's all the steps for this sequence, so we'll hit next and name it rear scraper loaded. We're going to assign it to ITEC number three. The last sequence will be ITEC number four, which would be a dump sequence. So we'll add a step. When we dump, the first thing we'll do is lower all the scrapers to the ground. That will be SCV one, three, and five. First one will be SCV-1, we'll retract at zero feet. Next step, SCV-3, retract at zero feet. Next step, SCV-5, retract at zero feet. The next step, we want to dump the front scraper, which would be SCV-2. want to extend and we'll do this at 20 feet. The next step would be to dump the middle scraper which would be SCV 4. We want to extend and we'll do this at 60 feet. The last step, dump the rear scraper SCV-6, extend, do this at 100 feet. We'll click next. The sequence name is dump. And the assignment is SCV-4. We'll save. We exit out of this, and now you will see ITEC 1 through 4 are set up with our ITEC sequences to load and dump all of the scrapers in a triple scraper configuration. That is how you set up ITEC for intelligent total equipment control for a triple carry-all scraper configuration.